Hey what's going on guys and welcome back to the Unreal Blender tutorial. So in this tutorial we will be creating the intro you just saw early on in this tutorial. So for this tutorial we need to just need two objects and for the first object I am going to use the iPhone and for the second object I am just going to use the Macbook or you can just use any object which has a display or a glass or something like that. So, so if you are too lazy to get these two models you can just uh, download it from the link in the description and also I will uh, leave a link for the blender project file also it's gonna be free so you don't have to worry about that and saying that I'm just gonna hide the iPhone for now and focus on the laptop and uh, uh, we just gonna select the laptop display and we just gonna duplicate it once and press ctrl i that it is inverted and hide the entire laptop we don't want that laptop we just want to focus on the plane so once you select the plane you're just going to go to edit mode by pressing tab and we'll subdivide this 20 to 30 times so i'll just subdivide 30 times and go back to object mode and press function f3 so that you, it brings up this menu and type in the self fascia if you don't get this option so you just press self or self fracture so that you get this tab and leave it at it as it is and press ok so that you get this particles breaking up and uh, once the all the particles are break broken uh, what i'm gonna do is that i'm just gonna delete the uh, plane we just uh, duplicated and move the entire broken pieces into the new collection so i'm just gonna name it cf1 so self fracture one and uh, after you've done that we're just gonna unhide the iphone which we have over here and place it be just behind the broken pieces and uh, we're just gonna animate this so that it passes through this uh, shattered pieces so to in order to do that I just gonna place the iPhone behind the shattered pieces and press K on your keyboard. If you are using Blender version 4.4 and so on, you just you have to press K. Uh, if you're using an old version, you just have to press I. So yeah, uh, I'm just gonna set select so location as keyframe. And for the frame, I'll just come to frame 160 and move this like so. And again, I'm just gonna add a keyframe for the location. And set the end frame to 160 so now when you play you can see our iPhone is moving through our glass and because we are using rigid body simulation in this tutorial we need our iPhone to move as slowly as possible through the glass so to in order to get the, the best results so once you've done that all you have to do is that we have to go to object make sure the iPhone is selected uh, go to object and under rigid body make sure you add passive for the iPhone and under physics tab you just make sure you just uh, selected uh, you know checked animated and shape to mesh and after you've done that we are just gonna select entire you know thing uh, all the self actual broken pieces and go to object and add rigid body add active and we just we are not gonna change anything over here and uh, yeah when you play you can see our broken pieces are falling on we don't want that so we're just gonna go to scene and uncheck the gravity so now when you play this happens so this is exactly what we want and uh, yeah and after that I'm just gonna unite the uh, our laptop so we have something kind of this effect but uh, there's an issue and uh, if you uh, if you know uh, before the iPhone you know passes through the glass it looks broken and we don't want that to be seen so we can keyframe this also so there's there's this camera thing so if you just uncheck you know if you just uh, you know if you get this icon it means that it won't be rendered in your final result so it's good that we have that so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna select the plane uh, that's the actual display which is not broken and uh, 
we just gonna go to a frame where our iPhone just passes through so in this frame is barely our iPhone is barely touching and the uh, self fracture thing our particles is bulging so before that we just gonna go two step backs and add a keyframe for the visibility and for the next frame I'm just gonna uncheck the visibility you know it's gonna be it's not gonna be rendered and add a keyframe so that still from 0 to 83 frames our plane will be visible from 84th plane our 84th frame our plane is not gonna be visible and we'll do the same thing to the self fracture as well so I'm just gonna select the end I mean uh, so yeah I'm just gonna select the first uh, object and do the same thing but the opposite so as you can see in this frame I'm just gonna uncheck the render icon and insert a frame and for the next frame I'm just gonna check it and oh sorry for the next frame for frame 85 I'm just gonna enable it and add a keyframe so after the frame 85th is gonna be visible so that's what we want and as you can see it's only applied for a single uh, you know piece to transfer the entire data to the all the pieces i'm just gonna hold shift and select the last one and as you can see all the thing all the cracks are uh, selected and make sure you make sure you highlight the one you just animated uh, if this if it's highlighted it will be in orange and press ctrl l and uh, link animation data and all of the crack you know all of the broken pieces will have the same data as the this thing so yeah that's it uh, if you like this tutorial make sure you give it a thumbs up if you loved it please give it a sub it helps me a lot and yeah thanks for watching guys see you in the next tutorial